Hey everybody, welcome to EFT Tapping for Better Sleep. My name is Dawn Betta and I'm an internationally certified EFT practitioner and I look forward to teaching you how to get to sleep fast and effectively without even really having to reach up and tap while you're in bed. Here's the show reel. <laughs> you can't think we'll do much. <laughs> okay, so emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping, is a really effective way to calm the emotions, calm the mind when it's preventing you from getting sleep. So there's two ways, well, there's lots of ways, but I'm gonna show today, I'm gonna show you two ways to perform EFT. First, I'm gonna show you the basic EFT that you can do if you know that you're anxious about sleeping tonight, or you are worried that you're not gonna be able to fall asleep, or you're frustrated when you wake up that you slept so yucky and you've got a full day ahead of you. Right, so to clear the emotions around the actual act of sleeping. And then I'll actually show you how to use this in bed, even if you're sitting there next to your partner or your spouse, so that way you don't disturb them. Okay, let's get going. When we do emotional freedom techniques, and I'll put the links down in the PDF down in the YouTube video here, we do a specific setup phrase in clinical EFT that addresses the situation, how we feel about it right now, the body part we feel it in, and then an acceptance phrase. So for example, let's say that um, you're frustrated because you didn't sleep last night, okay? We don't wanna think about all the times we can't sleep because that'll just blow up our brain. It's just too much. So you don't wanna say like, even though I'm frustrated that I'm never sleeping or that I'm having such a hard time sleeping. Either EFT won't work then, or it's going to get you even more riled up because the brain is trying to process too much. So think about last night, the night before, three nights ago, whatever night you want to pick. Okay. And I'm going to have you just right now thinking about the fact that you didn't sleep that night. You can make it up, right? Write down or write down a situation in which you haven't slept. Maybe your baby was up all night. Maybe someone woke you up and interrupted you. Maybe you got a phone call that distressed you. So even though thinking about that night, what do you feel about it right now? You can't change how you felt back then. You can only change how you feel now. And that's the brain's access to that memory. Okay. Where do you feel it in your body, if anywhere? And then write down how strong is that emotion right now, thinking about it. And let's do some practice together. Okay, so we're going to start with the side of the hand. This is where we do all of our setup statements. So it doesn't matter what hand you tap. And you can just repeat after me. And you can use my words even if your sheet is different. Okay. Even though I feel frustrated in my chest because I didn't sleep last night, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel frustrated in my chest, knowing that I didn't sleep last night, I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel frustrated in my chest, thinking that I didn't sleep again last night. Oops, we don't usually use the word again. Pulls in everything else. I deeply and completely accept myself. Top of the head, feeling frustrated in my chest. Between the eyes, frustrated in my chest. Side of the eyes, frustrated in my chest. Under the eyes, frustrated in my chest. Under the nose, frustrated in my chest. Under the mouth, frustrated in my chest. Collarbones, frustrated in my chest. So I'm right underneath the collarbones, good. And under the arm, frustrated in my chest. Perfect. And you breathe, you take a little sip of water if you've got some. So you heard me say always because I was thinking, oh, I have to remember to tell them not to say always or never. So of course I said it. <laughs> we want to focus on one situation. So make sure that you are focusing on one situation, not saying all the times, as I mentioned before. Okay. So let's do it one more time to get the flow, to get the points. It takes two to three times to do something to feel confident about it. And then I'll talk about how to use this in bed. So side of the hand. Oh, by the way, you know you've done an effective round if the intensity of your emotion has changed, if the emotion itself has changed, or the body part has changed. 
So evaluate those real quick on your sheet. And then you would tap on what is the new situation. So maybe it, my frustration went from a seven down to a two. Great. Maybe it went up a little bit. That's okay. Just keep tapping on it. Maybe it's not frustration anymore. Maybe now it's sadness. And maybe it's in my, not my stomach, maybe it's in my chest, right? So as long as something moved, your round is successful when you're doing this on your own. Okay. So let's, we'll do it with a different emotion and body part just for the fun of it. Side of the hand. So even though I feel sad in my stomach because I didn't sleep last night, I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel sad in my stomach because I didn't sleep again last night, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel sad in my stomach because I didn't sleep last night, I accept that I feel sad about this. Good. Top of the head, feeling sad in my stomach. Good. Between the eyes, right at the corner of the eyebrow, one-sided or two-sided, doesn't matter. Sadness in my stomach. Good. The next spot's the temples. Sadness in my stomach. Under the eyes, sadness in my stomach. Under the nose, sadness in my stomach. Between the nose and my mouth, I mean, between my mouth and my chin, which is different, sadness in my stomach. Good, under the collarbones, sadness in my stomach. And under the arms, sadness in my stomach. Good, and then you'd reevaluate. Now, you can do this for past events, for present events, for future events, right? Your brain can't tell the difference between past, present, and future. So when you're doing this, you can do it in bed, or you can do it before you go to sleep. Like, even though I'm feeling nervous in my brain, thinking about the fact that I might not sleep tonight, I accept I feel this way, even though I'm feeling nervous in my brain, thinking about the fact I might not sleep tonight, right? So you can do it like that. Now, when you're in bed, that's right now. That's still a situation. So you can lay in bed and tap or tap the points that are accessible. You can also just touch the points or rub the points. So if you're laying there in bed and you're tossing and turning, you're trying not to toss and turn because you have a partner in bed, you can literally just rub the points as many as you can access comfortably. So maybe you're not doing the top of the head. Maybe you're just doing these points. And breathing into them, just rubbing lightly, allowing yourself to go back to sleep, allowing your monkey mind to just relax. Or maybe you're just curled up and you're rubbing just on the side of your chest and just on the collarbones and you're just rubbing those points or maybe rubbing these points, right? So you've got a lot of options. And so just even rubbing and focusing on those points gets most of my clients back to sleep pretty quickly. Another thing you can do is look below. I've got my Eventbrite classes down there. I'm doing self-hypnosis classes. So you can learn to hypnotize yourself. And hypnotizing yourself is really great because A, it can lead you right into sleep. Or 15 minutes of hypnosis is equal to about an hour of sleep. Now, not that you can do that forever because eventually you want REM sleep but it'll help you catch up on those days that, you know, you just couldn't go to bed. Maybe you had, your kid was up all night sick and you still need to get some effective recuperation sleep. You can literally take 15 minutes of hypnosis and get an hour's worth of sleep. I hope this was helpful for you. Go ahead and comment below any questions that you have. Otherwise, feel free to check out my website, touchremies.com. Um, there's another six minute summary on how to do this all down below as my gift to you. So know that you're loving, you are loved, and you are lovable. Take care. Sleep well from the bottom of my heart.